So here we go. <laughs> oh man, wow. Like seriously. <laughs> Who even watches women's football? Well, he's spending his time tweeting about it, isn't he? The Euro speaks for itself. 90,000 people sold out. The most attended final for the Euros for men's football or women's football ever. 22 million, I think, watched the final. I think, Otto, you should get yourself to a game. The only impressive thing about women's football is how they can't control the ball. Next. Do you want me to read this out? Yeah, yeah. I actually have to repeat this. Um, <laughs> just watched the England goals tonight and it has reinforced my view about goalkeepers in women's football, making it impossible to watch. And yet, you watched it. There's actually a stat that um, men's goalkeepers in the Prem are twice as likely to make mistakes as women's goalkeepers in the Super League. So, yeah. Women's football is a joke, I can't get it. Do women control the ball with their chest? I'm confused. <laughs> well, we have two balls, I mean, we can handle the third one. <laughs> it sounds like you might be confused by a lot of things to do with women. Have you been around a lot of women? Have you ever met a woman? Maybe just stay away from them. <laughs> Men's football and women's football, like Lewis FC, have got two great teams. If you don't like something, you don't always have to put it out there. Some of the misogyny is deep rooted and it's a fear. If you're going to have a daughter and you're saying that to me, and your daughter tells you she wants to play football, are you going to say that to her? They were in my class and they said that I couldn't be able to play because I was a girl, you know. You're always going to have a small core of men who will be really vocal and really negative on social media. And when you see what the Euro, like, the Euros have done, you see how many people were there watching them. It's just that all those comments go, because you see how many people that actually care about women's football. It shows that we actually stand a chance yeah. of becoming professional and more older. Yeah, and that we can be as good as the men. Uh, keep women away from the men's game. Women can present commentate on their own game. Women can present, so we can present. Yeah, so that's good, positive from them. A lot of the presenters and the commentators that are women probably know more about football than men. You've got Karen Carney, 144 caps for her country. You're not going to get many more experienced footballers, male or female. To, to comment on the game. Men and women can actually work together and collaborate with each other. Why would you segregate as a grown man? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, one second, sorry. Hello? Sorry, who is it? Ah, it's the 1950s. Stuff. I think this one's for you. <laughs> Lloyd. Can't get on board with this equal pay shout for women's football. Smaller pitches, smaller nets, make it miles more entertaining. Thank you for the suggestions, Lloyd. That's very interesting. Here at Lewis, obviously, we have the same pitch, same training facilities, same budget, same everything. And it is highly entertaining on both the men's and the women's side. Spend your energy somewhere else, Lloyd. What? Improving your outlook. Dave. Oh God, more women's football promo. Nobody really watches it. I love football, but women's football is so boring. I wonder how many tickets are given away. Nobody really watches it. Millions and millions and millions of people are watching it. There were so many sold out like matches last year in the championship and I'm pretty sure there were a few in the WSL as well. And you can't love football that much if you don't love everyone playing football. It, women, men, it's, it's the same game. I wish I had a ticket but I couldn't find one because everything was sold out. So. <laughs> Women's football would be more attractive if they was well fit and dressed in light tight cotton kits and fluffy boots. <laughs> fluffy boots? <laughs> Wash your little kink with fluff. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffy boots might help me curl the ball a bit better, I don't know. Hey, what the f f like? And they find it quite offensive. Um, for the coaches though, uh, I think that would be very good. If you had three words to say to these mm -hmm. people. Oh gosh, that would be a good one. <laughs> Get a life. 
please get educated. Watch again.